All right, I want to do a quick video on showing you my whole milk, Publix whole milk yogurt and my Publix half and half yogurt. So, as I expected, the Publix half and half yogurt has come out so nice. Look at this here. Hit that. That is some amazing yogurt right there. It's just nice and thick. Look at that. Now, the Publix whole milk basically it's a lot more soupier, but there is some good yogurt in that. This is more the traditional creamy yogurt. Now, you're going to get some whey. Whey is basically the milk protein. Now, you could process this through a cheesecloth and get rid of all this liquid and make it much more like this, but look at the, the difference between the two. And the taste of the two, let's do the taste test. This is the half and half, and it's amazing. It's very mild, super creamy even has a hint of cheese taste to it, like a cheesy, creamy, slight. It's beautiful. This stuff is amazing, like if you have any like peach crumbler or any sort of dessert, you want to put this on top of it. Why? Because you're going to eat all the sugar and this is going to just give it, it's going to smooth out the sugary taste, make it a little bit more creamy, and then not only that, in your stomach, it's going to devour the, the sugar. So if you like to eat any sort of sweets or chocolate, this is a great combo. Let the yogurt eat the stuff you enjoy in your stomach. Mmm, it's a probiotic. Okay, let's test the other one. This is a lot more creamy, more yogurty like. It's a sharper taste, more of the traditional yogurt taste to it. Mmm. But it's also good. It's um, still um, very mild in my, it's not a sharp yogurt. It's like a mild sharp, I would say. I've had sharp, like if you have um, yogurt that's made from Jersey, it's like really sharp taste. Mm. So there you have it. Making yogurt from Publix, half and half, and whole milk, whole milk is really easy. And I've got a video on showing you how to do it. And uh, ultimately, you can cut down your yogurt costs simply by making your own and following my recipe, which is safe, which is keeping the milk, warming it up as a pasteurized product, unopened, so it's been pasteurized, so you're not letting any additional bacteria into it. And ultimately, you can pasteurize it, choose to pasteurize it, repasteurize it, simply by heating it up to a point where you can't keep your hand in it for more than 30 minutes. Not too hot, you don't want to put the water to a boil because you're dealing with a plastic container. And not too hot, again, ideally, that's why I like the half and half, because you're dealing with a carton, which isn't plastic, and this is a lot healthier for you. Now, ultimately, you can go for organic half and half and everything else, spend more money, and get even a better product. But I wanted to show that even with affordable half and half and whole milk, you can make amazing yogurt at home using my Found Ups yogurt recipe. Thanks, my name is Mike Trout. I'm the creator of Found Ups. Found Ups are ideas for helping to save our planet, launch locally, funded globally, and I have a website where if you like my videos and you want to support the work I do, you can go there and contribute for as little as $3 a month and help support the work. Um, I have no sponsors. I have no advertising with my videos, ultimately. That's taken care of by our stakeholders. I also give you shares in my corporation, as long as you're a member, and so on. Um, FoundUps hopes to replace the startup. FoundUps have a lot of specific things about them. They are net neutral. They do not participate in lobbying or capital campaigns dealing with politics. Uh, so imagine corporations in the future as big as Google and Yahoo or whatever, which are net neutral and do not participate in contributing to special interest groups or polit politics. Think of the world we'd have if every corporation basically withdrew from politics. If every corporation would not fund politicians. 
what would happen to their capital campaigns? What would happen? It would change the world. We would take back politics. We would take back our planet. Because Foundups 2 ultimately put 80% of the net profit and the capital gains back into launching, supporting, or scaling up existing Foundups. So the money that I earn from doing Foundups goes back into launching, scaling, or supporting other Foundups. And I want you to launch your own Foundups, your own product lines. In the future, we will have our own Foundup yogurt that we will individually make and distribute locally as kind of a decentralized organization. Foundups is a decentralized corporation. It's autonomous. It's self-driving. It's the future. And ultimately, I'm just now creating products that ultimately anyone could create and do and distribute themselves via their own Foundup network. Thanks. My name is Mike Trout. Thanks for watching.